Hello friends, it's Terry with Terry's Mailbox and today I'm presenting for the Funky Junkie Boutique. We were given a challenge of selecting our favorite Tim Holtz product from 2022 and creating something with it. And for me, this was the Botanic Garden Stamp from Stampers Anonymous, along with Distress Watercolor Pencils. So I had a blast doing this. So again, here is the stamp set. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the two floral stamps, not the butterfly stamps. And then I'm also gonna pull in my Distress Watercolor uh, Pencils, which I just finally got the entire set. So you can see I've arranged them in rainbow order. So here I'm kind of playing with my et cetera tag, kind of looking at how I'm going to arrange the flowers onto that background. So I've got a pencil here and I'm just kind of trimming around or marking around the outside of that tag and then I'll pull out my tonic trimmer and trim it down. And I ended up doing two tags. Um, the first one, I ended up stamping the image and not being very happy with it. So I did turn it into a tag, but um, like I say, I'm gonna show you exactly how I put this all together. So back to trimming the watercolor base. So we'll get that all trimmed out so that it fits on that etc. tag. And then the next thing I'm going to do is to pull out my ink schmooshing technique, which is, of course, one of my favorites. So you can see there again how the flowers are going to be on the front of that tag. So I pulled out um, tumbled glass, uh, speckled egg, and pumice stone for this first one. And we'll go ahead and you know smoosh those onto my craft mat, add some spritz it with water, and then I always run my fingers through. That's why I've always got inky fingers when I'm doing Tim Holtz things, but that's okay. That's that's having fun. So again, I'm sprinkling it with water and I'm running, running my finger through to kind of break it up, and then I'm grabbing that watercolor piece. And I'm just, this is a process of dipping and spraying and drying and dipping and, you know, until you're happy with the, um, the final colors that you end up with. So, um, like I say, I'm just here dipping and drying, um, working on getting, uh, getting that background. I wanted sort of a um, gray-blue background. I thought that would be very pretty. And again, it's fun with his inks because you can really select any three colors and ink smoosh them together and, you know, you never know what you're going to get. But that's, uh, you know, that's the way it is and that's what's fun about this particular technique. So I'm just sitting here drying, trying to make sure it is completely dry before I move on. And so there is my final tag here. And so again, I'm kind of playing with the, with the flower images here. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp these with the pumice stone um, ink onto onto that background. And this was the first tag I made and again I realized afterwards that what I really wanted to do was to color the stamp with the um, with the watercolor pencils and then um, you know spritz them and stamp with them. So again um, this was kind of an error but I went ahead and went with it because again I had the background all straightened up and everything. So you can see here I'm just kind of stamping trying to make sure that I get a good stamp. That's, you know, these stamp positioners are just amazing for this. So again, I'll put the other one up there towards the top. And then I do fill in the background with the ledger stamp. That's one of my favorite background stamps. It's just, uh, you know, different, um, I don't even think they're in English. It's just kind of different script writing, um, different styles. And I'll use that to fill in, uh, fill in the background. But again, right now I'm still working on the stamping. So again, getting those floral floral images on there. So there's there's the start to that one. And then as I said, I realized that I really wanted to use different colors. And so I replaced the pumice stone with weathered wood on this one. And so we're kind of going to start again, but that's because I want to use the watercolor pencils. So the first thing I did was I, I'm using hickory smoke um, ink and just trying to ink just the written verbiage in the background. And then I'll pull a paper towel out here to um, kind of clean off where I, where I over stamped. So we'll go ahead and, you know, and stamp that. And it might take me a couple of, a couple of tries here to get a really good, um, good image. So again, still just kind of working on, um, 
working on it and I'm going to pull out my Distress watercolor pencils. So I'm using the Rustic Wilderness and Peeled Paint and what I'm going to do is I'm dipping the tips in water, just a regular cup of water I have off to the side and I'm going to go ahead and just color in um, these sections. So I started with um, antique linen here actually and then decided that was way too light so I moved on to peel paint and rustic wilderness later on. So again just kind of stamping, painting and stamping and you can see here that it's you know it's pretty light so that's where I decided I was going to get aggressive with the greens so I added the rustic wilderness So we'll go ahead and fill in and spritz and stamp and spritz and stamp and you know it just it's a it's a process but that's um, you know that's how these work and it's just uh, they're fun to play with they're really fun I'm so glad that I bought the entire set so now I'm moving on using some different colors so this is the wilted violet and so we'll go ahead and just color color that big bloom and then we'll go ahead and spritz it again and, um, and the reason you my pen my pencil keeps leaving is I've got to dip the tip of it in water to kind of soften it up so here I've got just a spritzer and I'm just spritzing it and we'll go ahead and stamp that and I'm using a stamping tool pressure tool and so there's that one so the next thing I'm doing is moving on to doing the lower one and I turned it upside down so that I could actually get to those letters. I'm right-handed. It's just easier to flip the whole misty around. So again, we'll go ahead and clean off some of the, um, the sections there. And we'll go ahead and stamp. Re-inking it one more time and stamping it. So again, it's just a process. You know, you can do this as many times as you want until you're happy with what you, what you got. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and I'm going to pull out the um, prize ribbon and salvage patina. And here's the peeled paint again. Using that for the, uh, for the leaves. And then I'm adding just a little bit of the, the darker green here, trying to make sure I get it all covered. And I, you know, I kind of peek at the front to see where the leaves really are, because sometimes with the red rubber stamps, it's a little bit hard to tell. So again, making sure that I've got good coverage. And once I've got all the leaves done, we'll go ahead and add the, add the water and then stamp it. So I decided to go ahead and start with the um, salvage patina on there. And we'll just stamp it all at one time. So again, filling in the green, kind of moving back and forth between salvage patina and the peeled paint. And then I'm also adding a little bit of the deeper, um, deeper color there towards the center kind of to give it a little bit of a little bit of a highlight. So again, we'll spritz it again. I got to move my magnet here a little bit and we'll go ahead and stamp that on down. And then I ended up afterwards going back and I actually already removed the stamp from the um, from the positioner and then decided, oh, I probably needed to get a little bit darker there with the turquoise. So I just kind of colored the turquoise section and the one one leaf and just re-stamped them and just tried to match them up as best as I could. And if you look real close at the final product, you can kind of see that. But again, I don't worry about it. So now I'm just using that ledger stamp and hickory smoke and filling in those big blanks. And again, it's just, it's, this one's a great stamp because again, it's got so many um, different types of verbiage on it and different handwriting. And, you know, it really is a nice one to, to fill in the background. So there, I've got that part of it done. 
And the next thing I'm doing here is I am going ahead and applying collage medium. Now I did um, take it into my sewing machine and kind of stitch around it a couple of times using kind of a dark blue gray type of thread. And you can also see that I selected two sentiments from the observations um, set. That's number four, uh, 434. And um, went ahead and stamped that in Uncharted Mariner and then had it in my positioner and then put clear embossing powder on top of it. And I do that often if I'm trying to really enhance the, um, enhance the verbiage. So again, here is that, that final one. And I went ahead and did a bow out of um, the Mariner. And so here's that first one. So you can see I stitched around that one as well. And I'll use that at some point. I'm not sure what for, but I will, I will do something with that. So there's both of the tags that I made today. And again, it's Terry with Terry's Mailbox. There's a subscribe button at the lower right-hand corner. I'd love to have you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And again, also check out the Funky Junkie Boutique for all these fun things.